Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Sagittarius. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe, okay? This is a general collective reading. We will pick up um, finance, career, money, general situationship. And at the end of the reading, Sagittarius, we'll be looking into a love reading, okay? So I'll go around the table. Sagittarius dealing with an Aries, a Leo, a Cancer, a Scorpio. So stay on the line, okay? Um, let's look into general collective first, career, money, and general um, relationship. And then we'll go to love reading, okay? Let's look into what's their feelings towards you this week, okay? What can I get for Sagittarius, please? Thank you guys for your support. Let us see what's happening towards you. What's the guided message for Sagittarius, please? What is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? All right, let's start the reading, Sagittarius. Okay, I'll just give it one more shuffle just to give it power. Okay, there you go. Okay, all right, let's look into your situation, Sagittarius. You've got the two of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You've got the four of pentacles and you've got the ten of pentacles. You need to start planning, Sagittarius, okay? I'm kind of picking up. I'm picking up a very strong vibe where this two of wands, it feels like it's a travel. It feels like a business proposal. You know, two of wands, it feels like a business proposal, a travel itinerary. It also looks like an objective. Okay. It's very predictive. It means that you've got something going on. You know, look at that. If you look at the two of wands, if you look at the two of wands, at the back is a mountain. It looks like a mountain. And the two of wands is merging. And it's red and yellow. So uh, this is like you're full of passion and excitement. You're moving towards a direction where you want to move a mountain. So I feel like there's something ambitious, okay, that you want to do, you know. I feel like there's something that you would like to achieve, you would like to do. Uh, there's some sort of projection, you know, you're giving yourself a target in here, the two of wands. And I feel like it's a now energy, like this is a, this is something that you would like to accomplish this week or this month, or there's something around you pushing you or reminding you, hey, Sag, you got a plan, you got to do this because your spirit guides, your angels, your, your voice is telling you, Sag, it's February. What are you doing? Your objective, your task. How is it going? You know, your internal voice is telling you, can you give me an update? Or maybe it's, a, it's an actual person. You know, two of wands, let's get to work. Let's get some money rolling. Let's get some tasks completed. Sagittarius, two of wands. Yeah, let's do some work. Look at that. Three of pentacles is that this is collaboration. This is cooperative. This is branding. You are branding. You're branching out. You're moving towards stagnancy. You want to get some work done or your inner guidance, your inner spiritual squad is telling you, get some, get some research, get it done, write it down, um, do the work, you know, follow up, do the actual calling, texting, emailing, do the first move. Do the cha-cha, do the dance, you know? Two of Wands, Three of Pentacles. What are you doing, Sagittarius? The Four of Pentacles, this is this is the three and this is the four. It means that you are probably skipping. You're skipping a specific pattern. Four of Pentacles, this is the first card. And the Four of Pentacles came first before the Three of Pentacles. So it's kind of telling me, with the two of wands and the four of pentacles, what's going on? What's holding you back, baby? Sagittarius, what's holding you back? Because four of pentacles, this is like holding back. So what's holding you back? Three of pentacles, it's reminding you, take an action. 
you know, three of pentacles. Look at that. So for some of you, you know, in your heart, in your soul, you're meant to achieve and to do great things this month, this year. And you have not called, like you have not answered the call of your intuition, your creative passion, or the industrious Sagittarius voice inside of you. It's telling you, Sag, what's holding you back? I'm waiting for you. You know, look at that, the Ten of Pentacles. This is the outcome. The Ten of Pentacles is money. The Ten of Pentacles is a great, great card. It's a great, great energy. It's about money, abundance, stability. It's money, money, money. Or it's achieving a lot of abundance, whether it's emotional, whether it's financial, whether it's a practical abundance, something that would upgrade your lifestyle, something that would upgrade your health, your wealth, you know, your wealth. It's in here. But you guys are not taking an action. Or maybe you're, you're moving too slow. Or maybe you forget about this. Did you forget about your things to do? Your ambition to yourself, to your family, um, to something great. You know, I feel like this reading Ten of Pentacles, this Ten of Pentacles, it's kind of telling you, I'm empowering you, Sagittarius. I'm reminding you that you need to empower yourself to remove the block and to start working. Three of Pentacles in here. You need to move the block. You are being blocked by something, by someone, or something tells me what's holding you back. You know, for some of you guys, you've been a little bit slack off or lazy. It's time to do some grind. This is a general collective reading where it's reminding you. It's so nice to feel. It's so nice to feel empowered. It's so nice to have all the beautiful things in the world. And you will have it if you work hard. If you're focused. If you're, I would say, driven. Okay, there's some, I'm kind of picking up like you want to experience and to get more than what life is offering you right now. You know, whatever you have right now, you're not contented with it. We will never be contented. For as long as we're alive, we get contented at some point and we want more. In this reading, I would say you want more. You want more abundance. You want more experience. You want more of what you have right now. And it's okay. It's okay. It's okay to want more because you don't want to get stuck. If you put more challenge to yourself, you get learnings. Yep, it might be difficult, but you will learn. You'll be stronger. You'll be more intelligent. You'll be more smarter. You'll meet, you will meet a lot of people. And then at the end, you will get an outcome. You will be rich uh, by friendship, by experience, or maybe by money. But something tells me here, if you want that, do the first step. Do the first cha-cha. Yeah, six of swords. Um your spiritual creative team, the passion, you know, the passionate spiritual team um, is telling you six of swords, move on from the slow motion. It's time to skyrocket. It's time to turn on the boost. You know, in the car, I have a, I have a car and there's always like a booster. You need to press the booster button to propel you, to skyrocket to your ambition, to your task. It could be as simple as you've listed a lot of tasks. Are you completing it? Are you doing it? Are you synchronized to your task? The universe is telling you it seems to be you're quite behind. So you need to press the booster button. You need to skyrocket. You need to shoot from the star. Okay? You, my friend, Sagittarius, you, me, you're not ordinary. You're not built. You're not born to be ordinary. You're meant to do something great this year. And it will start by taking action, by pushing the booster button, by doing the dance to the next step. Okay? The thing with you, the thing I like about you, you know, maybe you're missing inspiration. Maybe it's been a quite, you know, sometimes if we Sometimes if we go into slow motion, sometimes it takes time for us to speed up. So maybe you're just loading. Once you're fully loaded, then I see you, look at that, you bear all of your heart and soul. 
and you burn energy and you're not just aiming for one mountain look at that you're a sagittarius in this reading this is what you're aiming but with the star card you're not just aiming for one mountain you're aiming for one two three four four more so you're very ambitious I feel like Sagittarius, maybe recently, I would say things has been boring, things has been slow. Sometimes we get into this notion because we're not inspired. So I'm going to ask you, what will you do to make you inspired? Um, how do you actually ignite your passion and inspiration? I normally go out. I normally go and sit in a beautiful place one nice meal and a coffee and a beautiful sitting and a beautiful scenery and just sit there and imagine and look all you know look out for people that go passing by it inspires me that this is life you know so star card it's time for it's time for you to be motivated it's time for you sagittarius to be reminded that you need to be motivated uh, the world, your spirit guide, your creative spiritual soul is motivating you. But the first ingredient is you. So there's something that you need to kind of turn on. You need to turn on the engine and start to warm up because you've got things to achieve, baby, this year. So there's nothing holding you back. Just you, Eight of Swords. So for some of you, maybe this this reading will inspire you again to dream what's that saying dream big dream believe succeed okay it's time for you to you know get onto the engine get into the car and drive your passion again there's a reminder to do that okay you've got the moon card so in the next full moon we have a full moon coming soon write all of the write a very rigorous or i would say because you 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 want a lot to achieve the universe is telling you write it down break it in task because it will help you out it will map you out with your ambition create a map create a visual board create a map there's something in here that you kind of start doing the universe is waiting for you to come forward and do the first move for some of you it's connected to branding for some of you it's connected to i don't know your hobby maybe you bake maybe you garden maybe you paint maybe you piano maybe it's kind of telling me if you have musical talent it's time for you to touch that and teach or maybe you put it in a video for some of you i don't know i'm seeing like painting or hobby or craftsmanship that you kind of need to touch again, maybe put it in the video or maybe teach someone or put a website. Maybe you've got an online thing. Maybe you're selling your product through friends. It's time for you to upgrade. Get a website, get an Instagram, get something techy and trendy. It's time to upgrade, update. It's time to move, okay? Um, maybe inside your house or in your workplace, you need to be more productive. There's so much things to do. There's so much work to be done but maybe you're taking it slow or maybe you're not so motivated for it there's a lot of competition and new jobs new opening in your area for some of you it's time for really to update your resume your cv for some of you guys and for some of you i'm kind of getting like if you want to move you know if you're really wanting to do a big move you know this year at the end of this year i'm seeing you do a big move overseas you need to plan now okay so I'm, I'm getting a lot of creative ventures in here so it's a reminder to seven of wands it's time to rock and roll sagittarius in a general collective reading seven of wands this is you it's time to it's time it's time to connect again with your creative passion seven of wands it's time to take charge of your ambition sagittarius okay now let's go around the table and let's do a love reading and um let's start with sagittarius okay four of wands yeah there's something at home you know for some of you i'm kind of picking up you bring work from work you bring it at home not a good idea 
that's why you're demotivated to be creative because some of your work you bring it at home or for some of you your home which is be the source of your inspiration it's not inspiring because you're doing a lot of work from home maybe it's time for you to get out and sit in a cafe and do some work you know i do this oh my gosh it's amazing i just sit one hour to do emails and stuff like that and it's so amazing how you feel empowered to be in a beautiful place in a cafe and just one coffee four dollars five dollars i get to be productive i get to be inspired there's something about you've been stuck in a work home that it's demotivating you or you're not being inspired like for some of you it's inspiring to to wear makeup to to put nice clothes and to go out and see the world and be inspired and you'll come back with full of inspiration i'm kind of picking that up seven of wands four of wands like your view is limited and your view and inspiration sometimes you see it outside the movement of the cars like your your passion and your creative passion it would be ignited if you just sit outside you know just one hour one hour bring your laptop or just bring a pen bring a notebook and just watch people around you you know sometimes you would see life moving like it's kind of it, it's, it's telling me like go to some posh i don't know restaurants or I don't know if you feel like your creative passion or inspiration is down go to a place that's beautiful sit there just see people moving around you know observe you'll see colorful people looks look luxurious car beautiful people chatting talking you'll be mesmerized it's like this is life i need to go back with my passion okay now let's go towards around the table um love reading okay we'll start with sagittarius dealing with fire sign okay if you're sagittarius dealing with an aries leo sagittarius energy aries leo sagittarius energy what is their current feelings towards you in the next 24 hours or this week you've got the ten of swords the aries um i feel like the aries thinks about you at night they avoid to think of, if you're dealing with an Aries, they avoid to think of you during the day because it distracts them from work. So they think of you during night time. They're not prepared to come out of this overthinking unless you ping them or you message them and they'll make time. In short, this person is ignoring you. They're not prepared, but they think of you at night, okay, before they sleep. If you are dealing with a Leo, the Leo is preparing to call you or text you or invite you. Right now, the Leo is doing some sort of self-improvement, I don't know, self-care, gym, socializing, but they're prepared to come out and text you, call you, and invite you, the Leo. The Leo is starting to be friendly and flirty. They will start to be friendly and flirty in the next 24 hours. Or at least that's their vibe this week. Now, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, there's stubbornness with a fellow Sagittarius. Okay? Strength card. And they will be waiting. I feel like the ball is in your court. So if this person texts you, call you, the ball is in your court. And there's a little bit of ego, self-centered with a fellow Sagittarius. But they don't, they're not bitter. Actually, they're getting better. Eventually, if you don't speak or call or follow up, they'll come around at the end of this month, okay? Now, let's go to Sagittarius dealing with Cancer Scorpio Pisces. If you're dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. If you're dealing with a Cancer, you know the Cancer, they are... The cancer is a little bit sensitive. The cancer feels like you're the one who needs to say sorry. And they're quite scared to approach you, call you, or text you, or reply. Because, I don't know, they find you smart. But there's something in your words that it is very sharp to them. They're very sensitive. Page of Cups, you know. They're not ready to talk in a romantic level or in a friendship level like they're 
hiding inside their crab. They're very protective of her feelings. I feel like you might have offended this person and you don't know. The thing is, they're not telling you. They're very crabby. Now, if we're dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio is so ready to date you, to connect with you, and to be with you. If you don't reach out to them, they will reach out with you. The Scorpio is feeling good. They're doing good. They're very excited to, I would say, reconcile with you, Sagittarius. So, it's looking good for the Scorpio sign. If you're dealing with a Pisces, Nine of Cups. The Pisces, you know the Pisces, they want to be romantic. They've got some good news. The Pisces is doing good. They're in a good mood. So if you reach out to them, they'll say hi, they'll say sorry, and you'll reconcile. As simple as that, you know. Nine of Cups. Now, the next reading, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Virgo energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Okay, let's see. Capricorn, they want to say sorry, but they don't know how to do it. Or at least, you know, they want to talk to you. They want to make it up with you, but they don't know how to do it. You might find this person like, they might message you and say, hey, or hello. And you might find it boring, but that's really the best that's the best that they can do. They're not very good in connecting emotionally. You've got to de decode. But I feel good about the Capricorn. I feel good about the Capricorn. You have to decode them. They're not very emotionally. They don't connect beautiful emotions. They can buy you drinks, coffee, gifts. But they're not good at expressing their emotions. So, yeah. But they're good. But not just in expressing their emotions. But they really, really like you. They're quite awkward to follow up or text because they're not good in words. But I feel good about the Capricorn. Maybe you can help them, Sag. I feel good about the Capricorn. The Taurus, the Taurus would like to date you again. They don't say it to you. They're probably posting something online or there's something online or something... There's something online and there's something that is connected to their friends that you would know. And it will give you a tip or a signal that, okay, they want to date me again. Three of Cups. They possibly will unblock you if they block you. But they're getting ready for a good vibe, dating, being friends again. Three of Cups. Now a Virgo. They've got the Ten of Cups. It's possible that the Virgo has found the love of their life. I feel like the Virgo is occupied by another energy. I feel like they could be dating someone right now. I'm sorry, Sagittarius. Let them be. At least they're off. It's pretty much they're occupied by somebody, by someone. Like their romantic, their romantic interest is with somebody else. Um, in the next 24 hours, at least this week. Okay? Now, if you're dealing with... A Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius energy. I'll open the comment section. Ooh, Gemini is so hurt. The Gemini, it's possible you block them. They block you. They're very, very hurt. You know, the Gemini would like to say sorry. Would like to date you. But they're so hurt. The Gemini. Let's get another one. This Gemini is so dramatic. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Like Sagittarius. I care about you. I miss you. But I'm hurt. Or I hurt you. Very dramatic. Let's see one more. In the future, they will reach out. But it might take time. The Gemini. So they're quite dramatic right now. Now, a Libra. A Libra. The Libra also miss you. They're stalking you. But the way they stalk you is that I miss you. I miss you. They stalk you and they manifest you. Like the way they stalk you, it's not I'm stalking you. It's like I miss you. You know, I miss you. The Libra miss you. But they're just viewing and looking and browsing, not taking an action. The Aquarius. Oh, get ready for the Aquarius. You know, the Aquarius, get ready for them because 
they're going to rebound, rebounds, or they will bounce back. And when this person bounces back, they're going to be magician. They will offer everything to you. You know, like they will offer what the universe offers to you. They will offer whatever the other person offers to you. It's quite ambitious. But starting to gather all of the things that they can offer you or they're starting to gather everything that they can offer you. So I don't think that this is just an next 24 hours energy. I don't think this is just an end of this week, end of this month energy. It could be, it could be a March, April, May, but it's big because it's a bounce back. It's like someone from, someone from, someone dead come alive and twice or three times, four times stronger, the magician card. Oh, wow. This is exciting. Well, I hope you're still available by that time, but they will bounce back. So this is your reading, Sagittarius. Thank you so much. I'll open the comment. Please click the bell. Click the subscribe button. Please also follow us on the other channel. The private reading, the merchandise, everything is processed in the website. Thank you so much, guys, for your support, for the love. I read you faithfully. I will catch up with you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.